Hey guys, I'm making a video for my writing 115 class. If my voice sounds a little gone or sounds weird, it's because I'm sick. The subject of my video is simple. You were supposed to choose a topic to get across in two different genres, and the two genres I chose were an academic essay and a video. The main topic of my of like my actual subject was how can video games be meaningful? So it's just how people feel a video game has actually changed or affected their life. In researching my subject, I remembered a video I had watched a while back called How The Last of Us Changed My Life. It is made by a guy that goes by Grant Vogel. During the video, he describes the journey he had while playing the game. For those of you who don't know, The Last of Us is a game that takes place in a post-apocalyptic world that is affected by spores that infect people and become zombie-like. During the course of the game, you have to smuggle a girl named Ellie, who was 15 years old, because she is immune. In Grant's video, he talks about the contributions that make The Last of Us a lead up to his grand event of his, him feeling like it changed his life. He talks about how the game is so linear compared to other games. For example, in open world games, they let you customize your character resemble you, so you feel immersed. The Last of Us doesn't give you this option. It gives you your main character, Joel, and throughout him lets you feel his thoughts and worries. Perspective of character is another point he brought up. In the game, there is a moment where you have to play as Ellie, and when you do, the sensations of scenarios change changes. You feel the fear that Ellie does every time you encounter infected or people trying to hurt them. Going back to what he said about the perspective of choice, he talks about a scene in particular where he you go into a hospital and are forced to kill a surgeon. The player is not told told that they are supposed to, and when he, he found out, he went out and asked all his friends and like people he knew towards the reactions of this part. Some people a he asked actually said that they, they tried not to kill him and just tried to scare him off. Other, other people he asked said that they killed him without hesitation. Him? He said that he hesitated and expected something else to happen. This part shows how video games can let you think you are in control, then drag you back into them and realize that the choices in the game are not actually the players, but indeed the characters. One of the last things he talks about is the ending, because a lot of people felt that the, the ending was empty. The perspective his perspective was that it managed to convey selfishness and human conduct in the scenario with two simple words, I swear. Right now, swear to me. Swear to me that everything that you've said about the fireflies is true. I swear. After experiencing all this, the outcome was him wanting a daughter because of a simple reaction he wasn't expecting. When he was trying to actually break the game and try to make the game do stuff that wasn't supposed to, like Lich. This game was so immersive and impactful for him and made him ch make a powerful decision. The top, This topic is, was important to me because in all articles you see about video games, it always talks about the bad effects. That it, violent video games have I feel like another another side to playing video games needs to be brought out for people to see so thank you all for watching this video uh, thank you Grant for making the video and uh, thank you last of all for to Naughty Dog for actually making the game if you want to see his video the description it will be down in the description. Also, down in the, the description is going to be a link to The Last of Us 2. Uh, a sneak peek was actually released yesterday while I was making this video. Like, So, that was pretty cool. So, thank you all for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, I guess. And, uh, bye.